English golfing talent has excelled on the European Tour in 2015, taking a total of 11 victories so far this season, the most of any nationality. One of the country's most consistent performers has been Chris Wood. Standing at six foot six, he's an imposing force out on the course. The 27-year-old has racked up seven top five finishes this year, including a tournament win in Austria at the Lioness Open in June, his second European Tour title. It's always great to get your hands on a trophy. Um, yeah, the feeling is like nothing else. Um, and it was a it was a really satisfying win this year in Austria because you know I was trailing by I think maybe four or five going into the last day, but I was playing I knew I was playing well, um, and I just had that feeling all week where I felt like I could hunt whoever the leading who I could hunt them down and I was always going to be there or thereabouts and have a chance and um, it turned out I played flawless really on Sunday and on a tricky day. Um, and uh, Bordy sort of made a few mistakes, which is easily done around that golf course. It was the sort of day where you just need to hit the middle of the greens and take, take a few birdies. Generally, my rounds tend to be touch wood. Um, not too many bogeys in there. Uh, yeah, every now and again, I tend to pop up with a few bogey-free rounds. Um, so it's part of my game, which yeah, I'm quite comfortable with, really. Um, in my iron plays one of the strengths so I think if you if you're hitting your irons well you're hitting a lot of greens you know you're giving yourself chances all the time so um, yes yeah, never really a surprise when I when I um, when I have a bogey free rank Chris memorably showed off his impressive iron game with a hole in one at the BMW PGA championship in May yes yeah, pretty awesome um, I've got the video saved on my phone actually so I watch it every now and then um, yeah, it's uh, probably probably one of the best shots I've hit actually, and thank God it was a decent one because um, you know, I was playing alongside Shane Lowry, and you know, if I'd have thinned it at all or anything like that, he would have hammered me for it. So um, yeah, thankfully it was a shot I can be proud of. Whilst 2015 has been the best of Wood's career to date, he's well aware that working on his game is a never-ending process. With such fine margins between success and failure, being comfortable with your golf swing is key. I've been trying to get back to sort of left to right shape where I play my best golf. I've struggled with a left shot for a while. Um, but when I, when I hit the ball slightly left to right, you know, I'm talking two or three yards. You know, it's seeing the, seeing the ball fall to the right and not fall to the left. That's when I play my best golf. Um, so I've just been working hard on, on trying to get that back, especially with the driver. You know, I can feel like I can stand on a tee, aim down the left, hit it as hard as I want, and it'll just drop to the right. So um, that's been really my main thing I'm working on. Chris is hoping his form carries through to the end of the season as he looks to climb inside the world's top 50 and to open the door to some of the biggest tournaments in 2016. I think I'm about 65 now, so um, to be honest, it doesn't mean an awful lot because uh, I'm still in that area I sort of call no man's land where you know I've been there for the last three or four years between 60 and 100. Um, doesn't mean a thing. Um, so obviously, as every professional, we're looking to break into the top 50, which equates to almost the golden ticket to exemptions into all the events you need to play, especially going forward into next year, being a Ryder Cup year as well. It's, um, now I'm obviously in the position where I'm touching distance to it. Going into these last four events, the final series here, it's going to be um, certainly achievable to, to break into the top 50 by the end of the year. The Ryder Cup continues to inspire the next generation of European and American golfers, and Chris is no exception. But he isn't the only young European who dreams of teeing it up at Hazeltine in 2016. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, I've made a reasonable start now uh, the last few weeks for the, for the Ryder Cup points. Um, yeah, every time you watch one on telly, you know, when you're at home watching it, it's like, oh and yearn to play in that event and um, yes yeah, it's, it's definitely a possibly a slight change from next year onwards you know you you might see a few younger guys sort of my era you know talk to Shane and there's talk about Fitzpatrick and Dan uh, Willett um, you know Tommy uh, myself you know there's a 
Bern, Wiesberger, there's, there's quite a few of us now that are all in that sort of age group that maybe over the next two or three Ryder Cups, sort of see a few of us in hopefully.